Good morning. This is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Well, it's Monday, November 11th, Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to everybody. And of course, we salute and thank all the veterans that served in our country. Bond pits are closed uh, behind me, so it's pretty quiet here this morning. However, the equity markets are still moving. So let's talk about the equity markets and what's going on there. NASDAQ's had a lot of distribution in it, a lot of selling we've seen in NASDAQ. However, it appears to be resilient and keeps bouncing back. S&P's looks pretty good near its highs, and of course the Dow is hitting all-time highs. So it looks like this market wants to continue, and people say uh, kind of melt-up kind of market. The economy keeps improving very slowly, and the market just pushes higher. Now, of course, everyone continues to call for the top because uh, it appears there may be excessive bullishness. If you look at the sentiment surveys, which is a contrarian indicator, when everyone's just too happy, markets tend to crash. However, at the same time, when everyone's calling for the top two, the markets just continue to plow ahead higher. So if we look at the S&P sectors, you know, we still have a uh, very good performance out of the technology sector, the healthcare, the healthcare sector, uh, consumer discretionary sector continues to do well. So the S&P seems to have some solid support at about the 1740 level. Uh, the next level below that would be the 1730 and again the 1710 to 1700 level. So as long as we stay above those levels, the market still may push on higher. The uh, NASDAQ 3900 seems to be kind of near-term support. Uh, probably a bigger support between the 3860 to 3800 level. So watch those levels, let price and volume be your guide. And now in the sectors that continue to perform very well, even though technology sectors, uh, certain parts of it has gotten some hits. Uh, some of the biotechs have taken hits. However, solar stocks continue to do very well. The oil stocks continue to do very well, especially the ones that are uh, involved in U.S. production and fracking. Uh, medical sector across the board is doing very well. So you want to keep your eyes on those. Now, an interesting thing happened last week is Thursday. It looked like that was it. Big volume sell off across the board in all the indices. And what do we see on Friday? A snapback uh, and pretty good volume, not volume greater than it was on Thursday. However, better than greater average volume. And one of the sectors that caught my eye that hasn't been doing that well yet in this market are the financials. You look at the XLF, had a really nice rebound. So I think it could be time to start focusing on a few financial stocks. And some of that caught my eye over this weekend are uh, some of the financial uh, investment bankers, uh, or brokers rather. And so stocks that we're looking at this morning and picking up are, two of them are Charles Schwab, uh, Morgan Stanley, and of course you can take a look at E-Trade. Now what makes these attractive over the last few quarters, earnings have improved, earnings have accelerated for these guys over the last few quarters. Uh, growth going forward appears to be about 20% for each of them. So we're looking at Morgan Stanley right about $29. You can be picking it up at that level. Use a five to eight percent stop stop over there. Uh, Charles Schwab at about the twenty-four dollar level. You can be picking that up. That also we're looking at about twenty percent earnings growth over the next few years. So it's a turnaround situation here. Uh, these stocks have shown some improvement over the last few quarters. So you can look at these financials or look at other financials across the board. Bank regional banks started to do very well. Uh, local bank here in Chicago, MBFI, broke out to. New highs uh, past the $30 level. It's holding above that level this morning. So as always, let price and volume be your guide. This is George Kachuk, RCM Wealth Advisors, reporting from the CME Group trading floor. And again, we salute the veterans that have served America and given us our freedom. Thank you.